Welcome to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast with host Kathy DeGraw. In this teaching, learn how to receive and release the ministry of deliverance and conquer spiritual warfare led by the Holy Spirit. Kathy is passionate about exposing the enemy and assisting people to conquer torment in their minds. Kathy's new book, Mind Battles, Root Out Mental Triggers to Release Peace, can be ordered wherever books are sold. Now, get ready to receive revelation, impartation, and deliverance with Kathy DeGraw. And I want to talk to you about my most favorite topic. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking it's spiritual warfare, it's deliverance, it's demons. You know, I had someone say to me, Kathy, how come you don't ever talk about Jesus? How come you don't ever talk about, you know, the good things? I do, okay? They were reading some articles on Charisma Magazine, and they always saw the spiritual warfare articles, but they didn't know, and a lot of people don't know, the heart of who I am down to the core of my very being is a worshiper. If there's a job in heaven of being a professional worshiper, I want it. Like seriously, that's all I want to do is worship day and night. I actually spent two years of my life prostrate on my face, worshiping Jesus, dialoguing back and forth with him, having visions and encounters. And I often say, I wish I could go back to those two years, but I don't have two years just to literally stay on my face anymore because I'm a podcaster, author, teacher, TV host. I do all this stuff. And so I don't have that two years that I once had before I launched my ministry, but I certainly do remember those days and I love those days so very much. But what I want to talk to you today about is being spirit led in your worship. Yes, spirit led. Are you allowing the Holy Spirit to lead your worship? Are you co-laboring with him? Are you listening with your ear, with your spirit, with your soul to see how he's leading you in worship? I think we can become legalistic ritual in our worship. There's the hand raisers that I'm going to raise my hand on every single song. There's the people that are going to get their worship flags and they're going to put those worship flags on every single song. And we got to be prophetically led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can be invited, can cultivate our worship time to make it an intense offering to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's what I want. I want to allow the Holy Spirit to lead my worship time. And even this past Sunday, I was in worship and I felt like he did call me to the altar to use flags. And I had brought all my flags. And even before I opened my bag, I saw what color that he wanted me to use. And so I'm, you know, over there waving my flags. And all of a sudden I feel led to just throw them aside. And I just started worshiping and freedom and spirit and truth. And, you know, I felt like I connected with Jesus in a whole new way, just really worshiping him. And then I felt the spirit of the Lord be like, go down to your knees. And, you know, so I just went down to my knees. And as I did, the chorus of pour my love on you started coming on. And I literally had a vision and encounter with Jesus. He was right in front of me. I could see his feet, the hem of his robe, his feet were bare. And I just had my hands around him, just like pouring my love upon his feet. I had such an incredible encounter and vision with the Lord. And I know so many people want these encounters and visions. Well, first of all, I want to tell you, I was just going to be with the Lord. I was just worshiping because I wanted Jesus. I wanted to magnify his name. I wanted to glorify his name. I wanted to elevate him. I wanted to just love upon him. But as a result of that and being attentive to the things of the Spirit by partnering with the Holy Spirit, allowing the Holy Spirit to lead and guide my worship, to not be intimidated, you know, to get on my knees. Or I know there was a camera really near me, and I was like, I'm not even going to worry about that camera because I just want to love upon Jesus right now. 
But by going down to the knees, I had an encounter and I just got to love on Jesus. But I think, like I said, I think we can be legalistic and ritual and what is our church doing and what is the person next to us? You know, I always say, even if you're in a church that doesn't raise hands, I have found there's so many people that want to raise their hands and they just need someone to be the first one to raise their hands. It's no different, guys. They go into a bar or a wedding reception, you know, someone has to be the first on the dance floor. And I say, why don't we be the first on the dance floor? Why don't we get out there and be the first one to raise our hand, the first one to lay prostrate, the first one to kneel, whatever the spirit of the Lord's calling you to do. Why? Because the Holy Spirit told me years ago, he said, Kathy, one act of obedience or disobedience in worship can institute or stifle an altar call. If you go down to your knees, maybe there's five other people. If you come to the altar, maybe there's five people. Maybe there's 10 people. Maybe there's 100 people. But he said, your act of obedience or disobedience can affect an entire altar call, can affect an entire congregation. And so we have to be very sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And one of the ways that we can do that, guys, is I have written a book called Prophetic Spiritual Warfare. It's partnering with the Holy Spirit to manifest your destiny. Now that's on spiritual warfare. It might be like, well, Kathy, how do I need that as a worshiper? Because I dedicated an entire chapter in there on building a warrior's heart, connecting with the father? How do I break down that barrier where I'm not connecting with the father, where I'm not feeling the father's love? And so it's not just a book on spiritual warfare. We have to know how to cultivate that place of intimacy, how to get in there with the father, how to build that warrior's heart, how to worship. And so we set that up before we start talking about spiritual warfare. Guys, I am a worshiper. I love to worship my God. I love to worship my Lord and Savior. And I want to encourage you. I feel like he is calling us into this place of intimacy. I feel like he's calling us into this place of newness. I feel like he's calling us to go in. Will you go into that throne room? Will you be obedient? Will you yield to the Holy Spirit's direction and not care? You know, we can't be intimidated. You know, 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, I've been not given a spirit of fear. And that word fear actually means intimidation. I have not been given a spirit of intimidation, but of love and power. I can't allow other people to influence how I worship or how I don't worship. You got to ignore what your spouse is thinking, what your friends are thinking, what your pastor's thinking. And you just got to go in there and just be a radical worshiper of Jesus Christ. And as you are, his name is going to be exalted and glorified. And I tell you, you're going to feel the presence of God. The glory of God is going to manifest and it is going to change your life. I know worship has changed my life. I want it to change yours. So friends, I want to encourage you, partner with the Holy Spirit, get into a place of worship, put some music on in your living room, dance with the blinds open, let the neighbors see and be like, hey, I don't know what they're doing in their house. I don't know what they got, but I want it. Guys, get into the throne room. It's the best place to be. It's our inheritance. And it's the very reason that God created us was to worship and fellowship with him. Thank you for listening to the Prophetic Spiritual Warfare Podcast. Receive additional teaching through Kathy's Web Church Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and Facebook or through her prophetic spiritual warfare book. I invite you to visit kathydegrawministries.org for books, mentoring, blogs, or to invite Kathy to speak at your event. Follow Kathy on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Kathy DeGraw. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review the show. This helps our show rise in the rankings and reach more people to bring forth deliverance.